Hey YouTube, what's going on? Fishy15 here. Got a cool video for you guys today, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the new iOS 4.2 and 4.2.1 firmware on your iPad, iPod Touch, and your iPhone. This works for everything, but with the newer devices, um, this is a tether, so every time your device powers off or you download something in Cydia and you have to reboot, um, you will have to plug it in and tether it with uh, red snow so let's get right into this to show you I am running 4.2.1 I'll go to settings and right there 4.2.1 as you can see multitasking right there and folders so cool little video for you guys so we'll head over to my computer real quick right here so you'll need to go to this website the iPhone dev blog and I'll have links of all this in the description so you'll need to download if you have a Mac right here you'll pick Mac or Windows right here you'll just download one of those I just downloaded it right here um, another thing you will also need uh, the firmware it's in somewhere where you know where it is and so let's open this and alright so this is Red Snow 0 0.9.6 beta 4 so most of you guys know what that is and I have a flash drive in and here's my firmware so I have the 4.2 Point one, right here for my iPad right there so we'll go in here we'll click browse and we will find that firmware so we'll go to my computer find firmware it's 4.2.1 it'll process the firmware and identify it right there and it usually takes a couple seconds to find it so it'll say IPSW successfully identified. So next we'll click next. <laughs> that was nifty. And it'll just patch the kernels. It'll it'll just pretty much prepare the jailbreak. Oh yeah, what it said right there. So what you will do, you will need to click install Cydia right there. To boot up, you'll need to click that down there. I'll show you all that stuff in another video right after this one, guys. Don't want to take this too long. So you'll click next and please make sure it's powered off so you'll need to make sure it's plugged in right now and you'll need to go over to your iPad or iPod Touch or iPhone and power it off when you're sure it's powered off then you'll need to plug it in or I said that backwards guys you'll need to plug it in and then power it off and then you will click next and you'll need to do the put it in DFU mode so you'll hold the power button for three seconds you'll hold the home button for ten with the power button and then you'll release the power button and that will jailbreak it and then you will get you will you might get a white icon if you do get a white icon and it crashes and Safari also crashes so it'll open and close then you will also need to make sure you're running the newest and updated version of Red Snow and so as you can see I have Cydia right here we can check this out if you guys want uh, I do have sources in right here. It's just got a new design for your iPad. It's just pretty sweet, guys. I have my sources right there. Your repos. You have your search. You have your installed packages. You have your changes. And it's just way faster and than the jailbroken 3.2.2. So, yeah, uh, just showed you guys how to jailbreak the new 4.2.1. And remember, this is a tethered video or tether jailbreak so if you want to check out how to boot it up and all that stuff if you don't know then check out my next video uh just if you like this please rate comment subscribe hit the thumbs up button down there subscribe up there and follow me on twitter guys all right i'll catch you later peace